I'm Anil Kumar, and here is an example to illustrate mean value theorem. The question is, verify that the function f of x equals to x cubed minus 4x in the closed interval minus 1 to 3 satisfies the hypothesis of mean value theorem on the given interval. Then find all numbers c that satisfies the conclusion of the mean value theorem. Now, to satisfy the hypothesis, we have two hypotheses. One is regarding that the function f of x should be continuous. And the other one is that it should be differentiable. Now, it has to be continuous in the closed interval, which is given to us as minus 1 to 3 and it has to be differentiable in the open interval minus 1 to 3. So these are the two conditions. Now since the function given to us is a cubic function, it's a polynomial, right? So we have a polynomial, uh, which is f of x equals to x cubed minus 4x. And we're talking about the closed interval from minus 1 to 3, OK? Now, since polynomial is a continuous function and differentiable in its domain, x belongs to real numbers, it is also continuous and differentiable within the given domain, right? So that's the kind of proof we can say that it satisfies hypothesis of mean value theorem, right? So that's the first part. Now, second part of the question is, then find all numbers c that satisfies the condition of mean value theorem. Now, what is the condition of mean value theorem? The condition is that f dash c should be equal to f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a. So that is the condition. Uh, sometimes we say that the instantaneous rate of change at some point within the open interval is same as the average rate of change between the two points in the interval, right? So that is what it is. So in our case, we can find what FB and FA are, substitute the values, and then calculate, right? So F of B is equals to 3, which is F of 3. So if I substitute 3 here, we get 3 cubed minus 4 times 3. And uh, that is uh, 27 minus 12, minus 12. So that is uh, 5, 15, right? So 27 minus 12 is 15. And let's find what is f of a. a in this case is minus 1. So f of minus 1, which is minus 1 q minus 4 times minus 1. So that is minus 1, and that is plus 5. So that is 4 for us, right? So from here, we can say what should be f dash c equal to. So f of b is 15. So we'll do 15 minus 4 divided by 3 minus minus 1. 3 minus minus 1, right? So that is uh, 15 minus 4 is... Uh, uh, I think I did a mistake here. 4 times minus 1 was not 5, but, but 4, right? So let me correct this. Good time to check it. So we have minus 1 plus, plus 4, which is, which is uh, 3, right? So which is 3. So this value is not 4, but 3. Okay. Minus 1 plus 4 is 3. So we have 15 minus 3 divided by 3 minus minus 1. 15 minus 3 is 12, so we get 12 divided by 4, and that gives us 3. So the value of f dash c should be 3. Now to find what c is, we can actually find the derivative equated to 3, right? So what we are given here is the function f of x equals to x cubed minus 4x. So f dash x is equals to 3x squared minus 4. Now since we know that f dash c is equal to 
3, we can write c here. So we have 3c squared minus 4 and find what c is, right? So we'll just rearrange it. So we can write 3c squared is equals to 4 plus 3, which is 7. c squared is 7 over 3. Or this implies that c is equal to plus minus square root of 7 over 3. So that becomes the answer. Now we need to check whether these values are within this interval or not, right? So we can just take the calculator and calculate this value. So we have square root of, uh, let me write within brackets, 7 divided by 3, bracket close, equal to. So that in decimals is equal to plus minus one point approximately let's say well, let me write five to seven how does it matter so plus minus one point five to seven right so on a number line you can see that on a number line if we have zero here and let's say this is three and this is your minus one then plus one point five is kind of in between somewhere let's say here right so and the minus 1.5 will be outside our domain, right? So the value of C which really satisfies the answer is, is the plus value, right? So what we get here is that answer is C is equals to 1.527 or just the plus value, right? So let me write down the answer here. So the point C is equals to square root of 7 over 3, right? So that becomes the solution for the given question, right? So that is the answer. So I hope you understand how we figure it out. So one, we prove that the conditions are met. The function is continuous and differentiable. And then you find the derivative equated to the difference quotient, right? And once you do that, you can calculate the value of C. Once you calculate, it is important to check which one is within the given interval, and that's the right answer, right? So, so square root of 7 over 3 is what you're looking for. I hope that helps. Thank you, and all the best.